just like that guys, $34.41. That is four points. Wow. All right, you ready, Hunter? I'm ready. All right. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another epic unboxing. We're gonna do an epic versus with this and this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Let's do it. As Hunter elegantly said, this is gonna be a three-way versus against these tins right here. The past three years tins, actually. But unfortunately, he won't be joining us for the rest of the verses because it's getting kind of late. He needs to take a shower and actually go to sleep at a normal, normal time, unlike me. But yes, we have this year's 2024 tin. This is the Dueling Mirrors. We have last year's tin. This is the Dueling Heroes. And we have 2022's tin, which is essentially the tin of the Pharaoh Gods. Which of these three will win? Place your votes right now. But as with any verses, the point system is as follows. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is one point. If it breaks $5, that's two points. If it breaks $10, that's three points. If it breaks $20, that's four points. $50 is five points. And the coveted six pointer is breaking $100 plus. And I don't think any actually break $100 to be honest. <laughs> so one thing I will say about Pokemon though, they, they do have better theme songs. It's, it's still epic. Pokemon has better music. So I don't think any of these actually break $100. In fact, let's talk about some of those high values right now. Let's go ahead and start with Dueling Mirrors, the latest, of course, 2024 tin. Number one is still holding strong SP Little Knight at $46.59. Number two is a Triple Tactics Thrust at $34.41. And the third highest being the alternative art for Dark Magician Girl at $29 and 70 cents now the highest value of course from the dueling heroes is the bystool duelist worm i guess i probably butchered that per perfectly i guess at 18 dollars and 48 cents the second highest is the bystool lubellium at 14 dollars and 98 cents and the third highest being bacteria finrear at 14 dollars and 90 cents if we were if we're going into just the promos obviously Exodia Forbidden One Quarter Century is $17.05. Drum Edition is $12.16. And Sardis Dragon $6.12 for just a quarter century promos. Now, finally, rolling to the 2022's 10, number one is Drum Edition Girl, of course, at $14.52. Number two is Forbidden Droplets at $11.91. And finally, the Blue Eyes White Dragon at $11.01. So, essentially, if you pick a nostalgia card or a meta card, you're, it's probably worth some money. Bottom line, I guess. But without further ado, I guess finally, let's get into this epic versus. All right, we have three tins, of course. The best looking tin is gotta be this one. It's gotta be, right? But a lot of people weren't really feeling the, the golden tins, to be quite honest and quite frank. And when, when this tin actually came out, it's like, ooh, it's something different. Finally, not, not golden, but it wasn't really my favorite favorite but it was still a nice addition because it does have you know the nostalgic monster there um, across the board if i can uh, make it less blurry for you but all the nostalgic monsters some of them of course i know more of than others but yes and of course this year's tin let's, let's do a compare contrast of like the monsters featured in here but it's roughly the same i mean they, they included uh obviously the blue eyes the garbage girl uh karibo and stuff like that on this side. Uh, monster I'm not really too familiar with. Uh, leave, leave it in the comments down below. Who, who are these monsters? <laughs> Let me know. I, I think that's the Odd Eye, right? I think that's Odd Eye. I think I, I remember that one. But uh, Ubel, I, I, I know some, but not much. And all, all you get from the Golden Tins is like, you know, what's cool about the Golden Tins, if, the, for those that may not know, is like, if you if you put these three, like the, the previous three tins together, it actually makes an image. I think from I believe from here. So if you have three tins, it'll make an image with 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 this. But I may also may pop a picture of that, or if, if the editor can find it. But it's supposed to show an image if you have all three lined up. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start with the oldie, but maybe goodie. I mean, it's only 14 bucks for the highest value tin from this, but maybe we'll get lucky. Um, I don't think I actually completed this collection to be honest. At this point, like I like with all the previous tins, like it's, it's not really meant as a, I guess a collector standpoint, because uh, a lot of the uh, cards here are reprints. They don't really hold much value as you guys know. So it's more just like 
um, you know, if you wanna, if you're missing cards, and you wanna do with it and whatnot. But let's open it. As such, I don't think they come with any promos on this one either. So I thought they actually had promos in these older tins, but I guess not. I guess not. And of course, as per usual, nothing, nothing that, down there. All right, first edition, baby. As you do, as you do. All right, let's do this. Guys, press a like for luck. I'm not sure what the pro, uh, card trick is. Uh, it might still be six, three, four, five, six. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's get into it. We have the goon ship, Sioux ship, the Sperian tragedy, the beat troop assault. We have the gizmic, the EMR, it's in the game. The, the, some more goon ship, Sioux ship, so blurry, sorry about that. Uh, we have the heavy beat trooper, the, the hidden springs of the far east. Uh, what is this called? The Dealmon, I guess. The uh, Ice Jade Ati Acti. Supernat uh, supernatural danger zone. This is, I actually got this in, I think, Collector's Rare and at one point, but it was like 50 bucks. It probably depreciated, obviously, but that was a pretty cool card at that time when I pulled it. Got a first rare here the Pendron Station action, I guess. The Ice Jade Super Rare uh, Tremora. And another super rare of the Screams of the Branded. And we have the Stardust uh, Synchron for our Ultra and... Oh, actually, we have a couple more, sorry. We have the Sprite's Blessing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. starting strong. Pulling up one of the top three cards, the Forbidden Droplets. What? Secret Rare. Oh, damn. So that's how you start a Versus, man. This pack is starting strong. Wow. But yeah, guys, like I said, starting strong, $11. And 91 cents for this Forbidden Droplet. So that, my friends, is uh, two points. Good card. Good card. I don't think I've pulled that yet. So that's good. And you guys know, as with any, any previous verses, we're only allowed to pick one card from this. So that was definitely the card to pick. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. Now, what I would like to, of course, pull is the Dormition Girl. I don't think we'll pull it that easily. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we have... Essentially, a couple of chances to get a Dungeon Girl. And the card trick was correct. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's do this thing. All right, we got the goon ship again. The, the weight baking. The, the giga draw, I guess. Ice Jade Cradle. Uh, Will's Dragon. Sunvalon Meldius, Tribe Grade, Rendezvous. We have the Magnificent uh, Man uh, Magic Key. The Terrors of the Underroot. Uh, what is this? Uh, tri. Tripastic Dealmon. Oh, yeah, we saw that before. You and AI. The Flying Red Carp. Just a fish. Just a fish. Got a rare here of the stained glass of light and dark. The high ritual art looks pretty cool. The virtual world. DD Assault Carrier. Dogmatica Genesis. And our uh, Flow Wander Breeze and the Magnificent Map as our secret. Okay, well, okay. We'll see if that's worth anything. 220, holy bejesus. Yeah, they make so much cards for these reprints. And a lot of people complain, oh yeah, reprints to devalue it and all that stuff. But like I mentioned before, this like this is not meant to be an investment. And I, I know a lot of people like, uh, especially collectors, they'll like kind of complain, oh, this is a devaluing previous prints. But the way I see it, it's similar to how like Pokemon does it, where you can get the same card, but in, in a different rarity. You know what I mean? Like there's different, there's multiple Charizards. There's a common, well, I would say a common Charizard, but at least a, a uncommon Charizard 
or rare Charizard or double rare even. And there's a the ultra premium Charizard ones. And same concept here, you know, you, you get like a lower rarity of that same card. So you can actually play it in a duel, you know what I mean? And that's what the whole point of a re reprint set is. So even though, yes, I would love for all cards that re retain value and all that, it's just not how it's supposed to be. Like it's a card game, guys, pl pl you know, play the card game or just collect it. You know, like the, the, the they try to cater to both markets, you know what I mean? But anyway, this one is only, uh, 49 cents, so definitely not a good investment card, but it's still added to my collection. And that's that's why um, there's, uh, I think uh, there was a video that uh, Team APS made where they were talking about this and um, how like like he, he's not trying to say that you shouldn't do like 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 investments and stuff like that because that's kind of like where a lot of the high values and interest come from. It's like obviously if you have more people interested in getting a card then uh, they'll you know try to get it but um uh, or you know buy the packs and of course uh, increase the value of like uh, interest in the market for either pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, lakana if you, if you want to go that route one piece is another good example of that but yeah like for me like I'm, I'm all about like just you know catering to both markets if you can and there, there's still value for cards especially like older generation cards i get like some like reprints or like Forbidden Drop has probably re been reprinted multiple times, but um, like that was the first time I pulled it in like forever, you know what I mean? So I'm all, I'm all down for catering to as much markets as possible. Ultimate Flagship is a, note, a rare here, Bi Binary uh, Blader, the White Knight of Dogmatica, the Heritage, Heritage of the Light, all right, Abyss Keeper, looks very cool, and Ooh, this is actually a good card. The Virtuous Incredible Celsius. Or, but yeah, the Incredible SSC, I believe. The Virtuous. But yeah, this one should be decent. I know like in, like in certain rarities, like the quarter centuries, as I mentioned, high, high value there. High value. So let's see what it is in a secret rare variant. Yeah, it is Prismatic. Prismatic secret. Okay, that is points worthy at $1.68. So yes, one point. So not too bad to start off for the, the 2022 tens. In fact, I might, I might even say it's a strong start. All right, let's roll into 2023 ten now. Let's see what we get. Obviously we have a couple of these, so it won't just be one ten each, but we'll, we'll see who indeed is the tin of tens. Or at least have better luck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, this one's actually damaged. This, uh, this tin is fine. All right, we got the promo which I think I already got, to be honest. All right, got our first edition packs. All right, revealing the promo here. It's the Cyber Dragon Quarter Century. Let's check out that. Um, it's not really, mm, should I count this as a points? Cause it is included, right? All right, tell you what, to make it, to make it uh, kind of fair, like, I have to choose which of these three will go with this. You know what I mean? So that way it's only one card because there's only three packs and I try to make it as fair as possible, but uh, cause it's not fair to have like four choices. I don't know if my hands are being weird right now, but four choices versus the other three or the other two only having three cards to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and say this one goes with this. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, and we're gonna pull that later. My uh, my shorts coordinator, Miss Saffron, might have like some thoughts on that. I was like, hey, you should you shouldn't do handicaps, and she's probably right. But that's not really a handicap, right? Right? Yeah, guys, defend me from Miss Saffron. She's uh, she's kind of she's kind of fierce. She's kind of fierce. Scary sometimes, but she's also awesome, and I love her for all, all the work she's done with the company. With the business, the business, the the alert. Oops, too much cards. The arm of the light. The branded loss is a rare. Got a super rare of the silent wolf. Ultra rare of the abyss dragon Alba. The runic freezing curses ultra rare. Ooh, and a Kashira unicorn. I don't think it's the one we're looking for though. And another. Secret Tri Brigade Showdown. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with. Damn, 
probably this one. All right, what do we get? Okay, the Castria Unicorn, so I picked it right. This one is $3.88, so that is a one point for 2023. Out of curiosity, was this worth more points? Tribe Brigade. Tribe Brigade. Tribe Brigade. Okay, good. I chose right. It was only 17 cents, so we're good. We're good. Had a, had a feeling it would be that one. Had a feeling. All right, let's do the next mega pack. And if you guys like these kind of verses, let me know. Like, I definitely want to do more because I, I still have a bunch of tins from multiple years. So I'm definitely down to do more versuses. Versus? Is that even a word? Probably not. The erosion. The cross. The cucumber horse. That's always a cool Pokemon. Sorry. Uh, monster. Uh, branded. The bonded, I mean. Clear new world. The step up. The Magikor, Warrior of the Relics, Ultra, Time Thief, Power Reserve. We got, ooh, this is actually kind of a cool one. Uh, uh, Timitus, Tim Timitus, the United Dragon, and the Vision of the Eyes of Blue. All right, I'm definitely going with the, the United Dragon here. Yeah, so we'll see if this gives me points. I haven't seen this one ever, so it's always good to add new cards to the collection. It is indeed a point at $1.27. So yes, let's bring it up to two now. All right, surprisingly, 2022 is still in the lead. It's still in the lead by one. Now, of course, we have this one. This is a, I think this is a guaranteed point, but what if you pull something cool here, you know? What, you know, what if, what if is the question. But we have that option if we want to offer that one. All right, let's see what we get. Let's do this thing. All right, it was so cute with the intro too, guys. I hope you guys like that intro with my son. I try to I try to feature him in videos uh, as often as I can, but because I record so late, um, I, I don't want him to like you know stay up uh, just to make a video. Even though I'm, I'm sure he doesn't mind, <laughs> probably would love to do it. But uh, yeah, so I like to feature him in like my one pack pulls or uh, verses like this, or just in general having having around. Eventually though, like it'll be cool. Like once he's older, we can do a legit verses son versus father but we'll see i mean if he's even into this kind of thing you know what i mean like he might not be like oh i don't, I don't care about that which is a cool card skakla light heart and another one okay okay we know this is a guaranteed point but should we take the risk and do this one but yes guys so we have the guaranteed of this one dollar card here this one should be worth points. I uh, I don't know what this points is, and this but this is a new card. This is a new card. The quarter centuries for sure will have points. This of course mm, could yield uh, maybe five points. I'm oh, sorry, five points. Uh, two points if it's five dollars plus, and is a guaranteed one point. <sighs> I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk, and see. Ooh, this is. Terrible. I should have went with the guarantees. This is only 88 cents. Oh. Obviously, we knew that was a point. How much How much was Cyber Dragon? What did I lose on Cyber Dragon? $3.29. So it still would have been a point. Still would have been a point. Wow. Should have went the guaranteed. All right, guys. So the current score, 3 2022. Um, two points for 2023. And of course, now we're starting with 2024, the current tin. And I know these are pretty decently valued. That's why I, I kind of went away a little bit longer, you know what I mean? To see like maybe, I don't know, a few months later to see like kind of like have the prices kind of regulate a little bit and do another versus of these tins. But uh, I don't know, you guys let me know if you guys want to see a rematch of these tins. No promo here, as I mentioned in my video. Definitely check that out right over here. But uh, it's still a great thing to you know get. No die either. Why no die? I don't know. That was loud. <laughs> Why no die? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, let's do this thing. And honestly, just like like I'll, I'll, when I open up the next set, I want to show all three of them like lined up because like this is like the worst pack like art. Like, there is no pack art. At least the ones, like, look kind of interesting. Wait, was that six? 
Can I do math right now? All right, here we go. Starting with the ultra rare here. The menacing mantis. The rose. The giant ball game. The over exaggeration. The Gaia Bla Blaze. Kashtira Overlap. Cyanide Circuit. Gigantic Thundercross. Blurriness or Supreme King uh, Dragon Lightworm. Xe Interest. Ultimate Great Insect. Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Gucci. Oh, in our quarter century, the Xe Dragon Cannon. Now, it's always a little bit unfair because it does have quarter centuries, but I'm going to go with the XE Dragon Cannon because I think from my last recording, this was actually worth point. I got to use the... Ooh, it dropped in price significantly. Oh, damn. This is only 42 cents, so no points for 2024. Out of curiosity, what about this Unchained Soul? Some of the secrets are actually better. It did... Ooh, and I think I got a error like i think i got a, a regular um secret rare can i show the yeah there it is so it's not prismatic yeah it's not prismatic ah oh, damn i got a regular secret i got an error box yeah i should have went with this one three dollars and 13 cents dang it i should have went with yamaguchi yeah it's almost better to pick the secret rares you know what i mean now well, let's see if this next pack is also a, an error one do we get prismatic or do we get regular secrets we get regular secrets, those of course is the higher value. Like I wonder if they're actually gonna appreciate my value because they're, you know, they're error cards. They're not meant to be in those set sets. Okay. We got the uh, purely sleepy memory, the storage pod, the branded be fallen, the full uh, active duplex, Tarari. Tarari. So, uh, th that one, <laughs> Spirit Walk, the uh, Commander of Tacoon, UFO Light. Oh my god. Multi Century Ice Prison. We have the Mary Milfi Ultra. And our secret is the Spirit of Ubel. Ooh, traditional secret. Ooh, this actually might be worth money right here. And the Parallel X Seed. I'm gonna go with the secret, man. Some of the secrets are like actually really good. But yeah, we got an error box, guys. Like, it feels like it's more common than people make it, make it out to be. And yes, it was a good choice. $3.20, or one point for 2024. All right, final pack here. So it looks like this actually might be all traditional secrets. I'm not sure about my other box that I got here. That, that might be prismatic. And if, if, I, if, I, if I do pull a prismatic, I'll show it side by side so you guys can see the differences. Three, four, five in S6. All right, here we go. We got the Parayeep. Parayeep, TG, a Rocket Salamander. Couple of aces. Jurassic Power. Meteor, uh, Meteor Rush, Escape Goat. Double-headed, Dino King Rex. Poton Time Stop, La Land Flipping. Oh my god. Uh, Ryu, uh, Ryuactive. <laughs> Reincarnation of the Seventh Emperors. The Mirror Sword Knight. Cool. Gigantic Champions. And of course, Honest. Ooh. All right. I'm not sure what to choose here. It's also going to be a, it's a traditional secret, right? Yeah, it is. I'm going to go with Honest on this one for a quarter century. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's gotta be points, right? Gotta be points. Not, not as much points. It's only a dollar and 23 cents. Some of these quarter centuries are actually kind of bad. All right. Out of curiosity, how much was this one? 49 cents. So I chose right. It was only 49 cents. So I chose right. Only a pointer. So we got tied. So it's, it's, it's still a relatively close match, guys. Still close match. The only reason why it's so close because I, I choose the wrong card sometimes. All right, so let, let me go ahead, open up the rest of these, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the packs side by side. But yeah, here guys, 2022, 2023, and 2024. Obviously, the best one is probably this one. If, you, if we're just going by pack design, probably this one. This is the worst. This is, of course, just the, the back of the card. <laughs> so that's like, 
I mean, it's not as bad. Like, I, like I thought this was bad, but then I saw this one. It's like, they're just lazy on this one. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what is going on, Konami? All right, and of course, we have our our secret here, or our our promo there. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this thing. 2022, leading right now, three, two to two. Can can 2022 actually win? Like it was a very unpopular set. Three, four, five, six. Did anybody like 2022 set? Let me know in the comments. All right, we have the goon ship, the fabled, magic key, magic key battle, magic key duo, the serpent, D destiny hero. We have the uh, calamity, the ice breeze refrain, the ultra bee trooper. The for for one the breeze and the scary sea, the dreaming town, the ultimate dramat dramatico, Dr uh, gigantic, gigantic, utopia ray, ultra uh, super rare of the ZS arm stage. If I can hold my card right, the, they have the ghost moaner, the breaking ruin god, the revive sky god, and. The Rainbow Bridge of Salvage. I don't think any of these were actually good, to be honest. I guess we'll go with the uh, Prismatic. Well, actually, you can kind of see it here. So let me uh, pop over this. Let me pick a card that's easier to see. But yeah, there's a Ubel card. Obviously, if you look at the card, you can put some light in it. The lines are like diagonal. So that's a traditional secret. Whereas the Prismatic is like it's almost like uh, you see like uh, how do I explain it? Yeah, you, you kind of see in the light there. Like it's it's like tri it has like th those triangles or that uh, almost like a T cross, almost a good thing. Where you don't you don't see that T cross here. Yeah, it's diagonal. But yeah, that is a difference. But yeah, I guess we're going with this one because I, I don't really know what to pick for this set to the the rainbow bridge of salvation 76 cents for this one so of course no points going with the 2023 oh yeah we have a chance to, to use our promo on this one all right we're not, we're not gonna reveal what that promo is yet until we see what we have in store all right we have the agent barrage labyrinth the Lebromancer, the Crawly, uh, Labyrinth, Ice Jade, Ice Jade again, Erosion this time, the Alert, D&D uh, Griffin, Griffon, the Pet, uh, Preda Plant, another uh, sc uh, Scareclaw, Scarsh, Sclash, Brand Loss, the Smoke Mosquito, oh, I remember this card. I think this was um, in a... Uh, Ultimate rare variant or one of the OTS sets that I remember. The Camelot. The Reaper Fume. And then our Scareclaw Triheart. And finally the Black Wing, the Phantom Glimmer. All right. So I don't think any of these are actually worth any money. So I'm going to go ahead and opt to use this one. And it is, ooh, the Black Rose Dragon. All right, quarter century. Let's check out the value on this one. And I chose right, $5.44, so that is uh, two points. And right there, we have a new leader. 2024 might still catch up though. Might still catch up, because there's still, still some very decent cards in this set. All right. We got the Unchained Souls, the uh, Candle, the Double Hooking, the, s the Scrap Iron, the Split Mirror of the Underworld, Scareclaw Defanging, uh, I can't say that word right, Defanging, Defanging, yeah. Uh, sour Red Vinegar, the Chaos Beast, super rare. Super? That was a common. It's a common. The Mental Tutor. Fucking the Lok Loka Sams Samsara, Ultra Rare, the Draco Utopian Aura, 
Ooh, the primal being. Okay, secret. Is it traditional secret or prismatic secret? Yeah, I think that's prismatic. Yeah, this is prismatic. Okay. And, ooh, the coach king. Giant, I don't think his quarter century is actually worth money though. So I'm gonna go with this one, the secret. And I chose very well. $6.46, so that is two points, tying it up with 20, 23, 10. Out of, your, out of curiosity, how much was this king, coach king? If it's $8 or $10 plus, uh, I probably should have picked this one. Yeah, 37 cents, so I definitely chose right. Yeah, all right, guys, we're down to our final packs. All right, well, actually, sorry, final two packs. Got too excited for some reason. All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. All right. Let's see if we get here. Daily special, formation, freeze bell, skyway to heaven, not really. Uh, unlocking, what is it called? The black eyed, uh, the punt plunder. It's called the darkest dragon, uh, sunvine crossbreed. Soul energy max with three with three of those and then the ascent of vanity as, and then the ascent sage Ooh, I don't think any of those are that, that good to be honest I guess I'll go with the, the sage here Let's see if we get any points for this yeah 22 cents so I don't think there was anything good in that pack to be honest if I put in a correct order <laughs> all right here we go irregular Combine the dancing leaves, runic dispelling, magic, the labyrinth, thunder discharge, the sky ninja, realize the cross, the peony, the prevented, the S force re 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 retroactive, natural ice jade, runic allure. The Elemental Hero, Spirits of Neos. Ooh, that might actually be worth points. And the Blazing Virtuous. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to go with the Elemental Hero only because um, I feel like this card will be a bit more nostalgic. No, it's not. <laughs> 67 cents. Wow. All right, how much was this then? God dang it. Ooh, I should have picked this one. $2.17. So that is no points for 2023. So that was probably my bad for picking the wrong card for that. Ooh, ooh, I should have picked this one actually. Damn it. All right, still close game, still a tie game actually. So 2024 might steal this if I, if I pull something cool. And that was a very squeaky pack. I'm not, I'm not sure that came out on camera or not. All right, with the hide and seek, the abyss dragon, gravity ninja, chorus round, Xia line, over top, creation, Gen duelist genesis, revolution synchron looks cool, and the green gadget. Okay, ah. I'm gonna go with the revolution. $3.91 is all I need to take the lead for 2024. All right, final pack for each. Let's do this. <clears throat> all right, Arm Dragon, Gizmic, Beatrip, Beatripper, Steinet, Brandon High Spirits, The Sparing Comedy, The Shoot, The Underroot, The Link Apple, The Sigurd the Beast, Flip Frozen, Stardust Illumination, the For Wonder Beast and Siri. Oh, the Live Twin Frost, but it's only Super. Dark Honest Ultra, Sheenus, and the Branded Dragon is the last one. Ooh. I guess I'll go with the Brand Dragon. Wow, okay. A dollar and 63 cents. So that is a point. That's a point. I'm really hoping we get the definitive winners here. <laughs> but again, if, if it does end in a tie, we gotta do a rematch. All right. 
Shell, Haunted Zombies, D Doom Broker, Intervention, The Sea, The Dark Contract, The Empress, The Bonded, The Exo Sister, The Runic Fangs, Stealth, The S Force, Lancewell, and The Fawn de Breeze. And, ooh, what is this? The Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord. I don't, I don't think I ever pulled this one. So I'm, I'm gonna go with it then. Ooh, 30 cents. Oh man, was there anything good in that? I don't think there was. What, what, what about this secret? Yeah, 34 cents. So yeah, nothing good in that pack. So that was a dead of a pack, unfortunately. That would've been a perfect time to use the, uh, the, the, the promo card. But yeah, guys, final pack. If you want this pack to win, press a like for luck. I mean, to be honest, it, it did win already. But let's see if we get more points. Three, four, six. Oh, the Red Eye Soul. The Haunted. Or oh, Horned. Full action. Or active. Words, man. Words. Super late. Can't car. Ooh, this is actually nostalgic to me. All right. Got the Samurai Stealthy, Tally Ho, the, sh the Scruffle, Contain. Ooh! <laughs> Triple Tactics Thrust Secret, and a Galaxy Eye Cyber Dragon. Wow, what a way to finish! What a way to finish! Is it is it prismatic? Yeah, it's prismatic. Yeah, it's not the traditional. If it was like the, the traditional secret rare, that actually might be worth more money. Wow. What a way to end it, guys. And just like that, guys, $34.41. That is four points. Wow. It's kind of weird how like certain things get timed so well sometimes, but... We still got a two-way tie for second, so it's not definitively first, second, and third place. But number one, the first place is of course the 2024 10, only because of that one crazy card we pulled at the end for nine points. 2023, four points. 2022 is four points as well. But yes, hopefully I got that right. My editor will of course correct me if I, my, my numbers are wrong. But yeah, yeah guys, that is pretty much all I got. What an epic versus, an epic 10 versus first ever and I kind of want to do a rematch because I feel like there's always more tins to pull. We still got the 2021 tin. Uh, if I can somehow find the 2020 tin, maybe. So we have all the three gold tins as well as the two, I guess, not golden tins. If you guys want to see my previous verses, but Pokemon style, where I did and whatnot, definitely check this video right over here. It was pretty heavy. And, and some of the, the luck there was pretty insane. So that's all I got to say about that. My name is Thomas. See you next time. Peace.